Yo, what is going on guys, Megaverse here, and in today's video I am using a giant skeleton, giant skeleton deck, if I could talk. Um, somebody requested me to use a deck with giant skeleton, and I'm using this one. It's very, very similar to the old one that came out when Mirror was really strong. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but there was a time where Mirror was really strong and you used Mirror in this type of deck. Um, now, basically, instead of Mirror, it looks like you run Evo Bats. Uh, I'm not sure if I had Evo Skellies either, but yeah, Giant Skelly is a fun card to use for sure, so I wasn't too, you know, bothered to try to use it. Um, this deck, though, I have never ever tried, so I'm not sure how good it is, but uh, I'm just kind of jumping into it. I looked through a few Giant Skelly decks, and this was the one that looked the best to me. The only other one I was considering was a basic Hog Cycle deck. There used to be Hog Cycle, which ran Giant Skelly um, too back in the day. Um, it was Giant Skelly, Archer Queen, Cannon, Royal Pigs, um, something like that. I think that one's really good. Um, definitely probably worth trying if you want to try, um, but I, I like this one. Um, it can be kind of overwhelming, especially like a Giant Skelly Royal Hogs push, because it's hard to surround the Royal Hogs without just, you know, blowing up to the Giant Skelly. Um, and, yeah, obviously Bomb Tower is pretty good against this deck, um, and you don't really have too much spell bait other than your, I mean, you're like, uh, I suppose if they sap your skellies or something like that, then maybe, but usually they'll fireball the Mother Witch if they have it, or poison, um, pretty unfortunate. Fisherman Pole, that's why I hate running Fisherman, <laughs> um, I, it's one of my least favorite cards to run in the whole game, because I am terrible with it. Um, I always end up just pulling in other things. I guess maybe you just shouldn't cycle it at all, but it feels super awkward to just like sit there and not do anything with it. But I don't know. Which should be a decent um, bit of value for the Mother Witch if we do it correctly. Looks like we're not going to get that opportunity. I'm going to Bats um, and Fisherman and just Royal Hogs. I want to save my... Evo Skellies, but I think we should probably just use them at this point. Um, hopefully they stay alive. They did not, not even a little bit, <laughs> so it's kind of unfortunate. And we didn't protect our um, whatever it jumped on either, so kind of a lot of a lot of misplays there. But hopefully we can just hold on to this lead. Um, I don't think he has enough to spell cycle us out, so we kind of got lucky. We played this pretty bad, um, to be completely honest, but. Yeah, I would say we just got a little lucky at the end with how bad we played and that we survived, but um, doesn't look like he even has a win condition. I don't remember one at least. Maybe he did. I think it was just E-Barb's Rage was his only type of win condition. Kind of like a bridge spam deck, I guess. Anyways, I guess GG's to this guy. Hopefully I start playing a little better with this deck, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, GG's and I'll see you guys in the next match. And once again, I'm going to promo my Brawl Stars um, channel because it's doing pretty poorly right now. Um, I guess I didn't realize like how many of my subscribers actually just like click on my videos no matter what. Because um, I think that's the only reason they might have been doing well. Um, I never thought like I had people that just like clicked on every single one of my videos. But um, now I kind of think that's probably the case because like I've got like... Uh, Pretty bad giant skelly there. We're gonna have to mother witch just to not allow that to hit the tower. Um, but yeah, it's doing really bad, and I think that just shows that there are people that'll just click on my videos and not unnecessarily worry about what's being posted, which is kind of kind of nice. I never felt that way before, and it's obviously a good feeling. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, the bomb's gonna kill that little prince so we don't even have to worry about it i'm not sure we even needed the bats over there but i'm kind of gonna i don't know i'm really debating arrowing those bats but i'm not going to this time i think it'll get enough damage anyways and yeah um i don't know i'm just gonna arrows now um so i can talk about the idea with this deck by the way and why i like it um if you remember or if you've seen that really popular eagle on deck with evil skellies and evil bats it's kind of the exact same thing um essentially the idea is just to split your skellies in the back split your bats in the back and then pigs in front of both of those things and then you can support it with a royal ghost or a giant skelly or something like that but yeah that can be completely over 
overwhelming um, if you've never had to defend it. Um, I envy you because it's it's kind of it's difficult because obviously if you let any of those things slip by, um, you know the bats heal themselves per hit and um, the skellies uh, they respawn per hit. So if you let any of those things slip, you are kind of screwed, and that's why you split them that way one spell won't take them out. But yeah, we're just gonna try to play this a little little, um, I don't know, not super aggressive now, but if he makes any um, plays I think I can go aggressive on. Uh, I can go aggressive now. He's not really playing anything and I need to cycle. Oh, we hit his Eva Mortar, so that's actually really good for us. Um, we just took that out. Kind of predicted it, I guess. No, no not really. Um, we just got lucky. Um, just get a giant skelly. Um, we're gonna try to set up that push I was talking about. Uh, well, he poisoned, so... Fortunately, I did still split the bats, but you can kind of see. Hopefully, we tank for one of those skellies at least. No, we didn't. We messed it up. <laughs> we played it late, and I got really distracted by him playing the mortar. I wanted to make sure it didn't get too many shots. I mean, zero would be ideal. But, yeah, you can see the giant skelly bomb is really good against Little Prince. It kind of just, like, always gets hit by it. So, it's kind of a nice little counter to it. Uh, obviously, Fisherman's a great defensive card if you use it correctly. I like just playing it in the middle and letting it pull anything they try to push, but um, he did go Poison Log on the other side, so I don't know what he even has to defend this. Uh, yeah, we're just going to arrows this because he has nothing to defend it, I don't think. Um, yeah, Late Little Prince, it's not going to help. Um, we could we could have arrows if that log um, actually helped, but he kind of messed up by playing all his things on the other side. Um, if I were him, I would have played more defensive mortars, but... Uh, obviously I'm not the best. Maybe the play is to play offensively. Anyways, GG's to this guy, and I will see you guys in the next match. Alrighty. Next game here against King Saucer. It's kind of a cool name-ish. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna try to set up that push once again. I'm so bad at like actually like prioritizing it, because I always just use them on defense. Um, but there are probably times I should just sack a little bit of damage and then just uh, go in with it because it's so hard to defend um, when there's things tanking for it. I'm going to try to activate King off this. I'm not the best at this. But yeah, this is a guy who pre-earthquakes. Um, I, I used to do that all the time, I'll admit, but I think it's actually a pretty... Um, dare I say terrible play because it's just wasting three elixir it doesn't really get much tower damage anymore and yeah at this point we should be up a decent amount uh, the bomb tower might help him defend this all so he might not get punished too bad but um, if we had something else some different kind of win condition maybe like graveyard um, I think the game would be pretty close to over off that because it was seven elixir on offense and we defended it with three. Obviously, there's not too many fishermen graveyard decks, so I think he was safe, but... I mean, maybe he would have been fine either way. He has Bomb Tower Log. Um, generally pretty hard to break through unless you have, you know, Lava Hound or something. <laughs> Should we get to pop the ability here? I kind of want to see him pop the ability. Yeah, I'm not too mad about that, because he's still got to respond to this. Um, get to go in Royal Hogs right away. Uh, hopefully the Skelly... Well, Giant Skelly Bomb's not going to take it out, but we do have our Evo Skellies. I'm going to... Um, our Evo Bats, I'm not going to... Go in too hard yet. Yeah, he had to hog. Surely he doesn't Earthquake again. Yeah, he didn't. I guess Earthquake is another... I mean, he could hit the Evo Skellies at some point, so I guess maybe it's not a terrible play, but... Or the Skellies in general, but... I don't know. I just don't... I wouldn't do it, um, just because you're putting yourself... Uh, such a low elixir every time because the odds are I'm not going to defend it with more than four and then I'm just getting an extra three. Um, Alright, maybe next time we get e our evos we'll actually try to use them right. <laughs> Did log nothing. And maybe he hit the giant skelly, I don't know, but we're going to try to go in. I'm pretty aggressive here. Maybe we should be splitting them, kind of helping the bomb tower, but I don't know. He's probably going to well, he didn't log. He has enough answers to our Royal Hogs, where our Hogs probably aren't going to be what's going to break through. And we are getting really nice chip damage. That's the nice part about Royal Hogs. It's so hard to full counter ever. Uh, log Earthquake does kill the Mother Witch, so not a terrible play there. Uh, I'm not sure we need the Royal Ghost, because the Fisherman was going to pull it, but just to be safe. Uh, oh, 
right we need one more cycle it's gonna arrows all this in the middle the firecracker missed everything which is pretty nice see if he logs here to yeah kind of negate some damage uh, the probably ghost was so close to getting a hit i wish it did and uh, do we have both evos now i'm not positive but just in case let's set up this push i've been talking about so much and uh, i'm just gonna arrows all this and we do it have it so let's go ahead and try to make it work a little bit i kind of want to play pretty defensively um yeah he spammed a lot of stuff on the right side so i couldn't really support the stuff on the left so it didn't work again but eventually somebody will let me set that up and not spam stuff into me and at that point i will have a nice push going on um anyway we just need a little bit of chip here so we're probably good yeah I don't know exactly if that's arrows or not. I don't know how much arrows does. At least we get arrows of firecracker, so we just didn't get value out of it. 16. Uh, this deck doesn't have the fastest cycle, but it has a cycle. Um, there's some low elixir cards, so we should be able to get back decently fast. Yeah, we're one off now, so let's just fisherman and arrows. And uh, yeah, well, this is actually going surprisingly well. We've had we've won every game so far. Um, it's kind of crazy. I didn't think this deck would do so well, but I am pleasantly surprised. Anyways, yeah, GG's to this guy, and I will see you guys in the next match. Honestly, my mind is blown. We've went against some pretty difficult matchups for us. Um, I would say Bomb Tower Log um, with Firecracker and uh, Mighty Miner is a pretty pretty big counter to us we don't have anything to reset the mighty miner um so it can always be used to just dps down our hog or stern skelly and then our real hog should never get through on bomb tower log um and firecracker so a ton of answers we can't spell his firecracker but if he had eva firecracker which i guess it didn't look like he did but if he did then we would have had nothing for that why did the giant or the, not the giant skelly why did the rogue just go and line up with that <laughs> that's all i had to do was stay where it was but it went over and lined up so the magic archer could hit our tower. The bomb might kill that? Yeah. I think if the giant skeleton gets one hit, the bomb kills the little prince, so that is really nice. And you can see, just, uh, we don't really have a great answer to Pekka. We gotta hope he doesn't have a spell for our bats and skellies. Um, unfortunately, the skellies died, so the mother witch is gonna get hit. Uh, I actually thought I would walk towards King, so that's kind of my bad, I guess. I really thought I would walk towards King, because it was so far over there anyway. Um, that's not good, but hopefully we can, you know, keep 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 on going. Uh, NATO is a really good answer to us. Um, I mean, unless we have the Evos, but we're not always gonna have those. So he's got a pump ability here. Um, yeah, and obviously push us back, which is a pretty good answer to us, but. We have plenty of answers for Little Prince. We could Evo Bats, we could try and Skelly, but I like the idea now that we have both Evos, maybe trying that push here in a sec. Uh, maybe let this die and then try it. Um, like, build up another push. But yeah, I really want to really wanna set it up, and I think this is a decent one to do it on. Um, he doesn't seem like he's like spamming anything at our bridge, so... I think we can set it up pretty all right. Uh, I'm just gonna roll ghost the side, hopefully take care of the... Uh, I think I mistimed that, but... Uh, hopefully take care of everything. Yeah, now let's uh, split our bats, and then we can split our hogs. Okay, let's split our hogs now, and then we can fisherman just to keep the P.E.K.K.A. off. That little skelly on the right is gonna get through. Oh wow, it survived his NATO. Why did it survive as NATO? Is it underleveled? I don't know. Um, unless it just got the hit off right before it died. I, I'm not. I didn't see exactly what happened, but it's pretty unfortunate. He didn't NATO it, <laughs> but we still got through. I don't know what happened there. We we're probably gonna win either way. Um, we had his other side pretty much done for anyway, but uh, that's pretty unfortunate. I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe he just got the hit off right before it died, like I said, but. Uh, that'd be pretty tilting. I don't know. Anyways, we did go a nice little 
four and out. Oh, and we got to the next league, so we get this interesting emote. Um, league four now. Something to brag about. Uh, level 11. NATO, so I don't know. Maybe one level is enough? Couldn't tell you, but that would really suck if that was the case. Anyways, GG's to everybody I played, and if you like Brawl Stars, uh, check out my other channel. And yeah, thank you so much for watching in the first place. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.